Hi, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm at my shelter again now because I want to show you a little update of what I've done in the last few days and then talk you through my plans of what I'm going to do next to it. Um, so let's just have a quick look. It's been raining throughout the last two weeks. It's all pretty muddy and boggy here at the moment, but um, I shouldn't stop this building. So let's have a look. So here's the first wall that I started to put up. Um, I stopped after this many, mainly because I was running out of good, long, straight poles of the right diameter but it was also becoming a pain to put up um, and it was taking loads of power cord to get it all tied in uh, and I soon decided that there's got to be a better way so I stopped building that wall there um, I've left it about that height and as it is when I sit on my uh, on my bench and look out that's about right height to give me a nice view so I think I might just leave that open and uh, it can be my window let's take you around to the next wall that you can see behind it so this wall is about twice the height and I built it in about half the time. Uh, it's not as neat, it's not as pretty, but it was an awful lot easier. So all I did was put these vertical poles into the ground, just shoved them in, and then tied them together with power cord. You can see every now and then there's a little power cord loop connecting it to the pole opposite. As we go down. So there's uh, these pairs of poles here, and then I just chucked wibbly wobbly any kind of poles, any length, chucked them in, and it seems to be quite effective. Not quite as neat as the first wall, but um, but it seems to be doing the job. So my plan is to try and make this into kind of a wassail and daub kind of affair. So I've got the wassail already uh, up there, and then later on I'll try and make some daub. There's plenty of clay here in the, in the ground. Uh, and I'll get some straw from somewhere and see if I can fill in all these gaps. But um, in this woods here, you can see it's sort of down at the bottom of a uh, bottom of a hill. So there's not really much wind. Um, so we shouldn't need to be cut up too much. So with the walls going up nicely, uh, the next obvious step is to start thinking about a roof. And whatever roof structure I'm going to have on it, it's going to eventually need a, a tarp on it. Uh, so I was thinking about what to do and I might just leave it open and I nearly always have a tarp with me anyway whenever I come to the woods so I might just build it so I can just put a tarp on and when I'm here take it off when I'm not here and that seems to be the simplest way forward at least so the, uh, the bench that I've got at the moment as you can see there's a tarp un underneath it lining it and then with just all twigs and branches on the top but if I cover the roof, a flat roof with twigs and branches, it's going to get heavy, it's going to break the tarp. Um, so I don't think that's a viable way forward. Uh, so my plan is going to try and put up a tarp now, see what it's, see what it's like, uh, just by itself. And that should help me then decide how high we need to go on these walls to make a match for the, uh, make a match for the, uh, the roof. Well, that's the first attempt of putting the tarp up. Uh, let's have a look, see what it's, what it looks like. So it makes it pretty dark in here, but if I turn you around, this is my uh, my new roof. So I've tied it over here, so it overlaps with a ridge of the lean-to, so hopefully there won't be any gap coming rain coming down between there. There's a little bit of a gap here. Now, of course, my vertical poles I had before were quite long, and they're currently in the way of the roof. But I don't want to cut them yet because I need to decide how tall I want that wall to be. I don't want to have to cut them to let the tarp over and then realise I want them to be taller. Uh, there's a bit of a gap there, can't do anything about that at the moment. But it shrinks down on this side because my shelter's not square. So on this side it only actually uses half of the tarp to get to the tree. Which means the other half then gets pinned down and becomes part of the wall. Uh, but this corner is a bit further away. So, there we go. We've got a bit of a window there and a view down to the river. Let's take you outside and we'll see what it looks like from the outside. Well, a bit saggy, really. Um, you know, part of that's due to the poles on that side stopping it being pulled tight. But obviously here on this side where it's tied halfway. I uh, haven't currently got a string, a guy line on this one, but I could 
pull that, that oh, actually makes quite a big difference, and tie that down. That'll be easy enough to tie on that. And then we've just got this gap. Now, as you would have noticed, in the middle of my uh, shelter is my fire pit. And I don't know about having a tarp mm -hmm. this high above the fire pit. So I think what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to make a little fire now and see if it burns a hole in the tarp, what happens to the smoke, does it just become a big smoke hut. Um, yeah, let's experiment, see what happens. Well, there's the fire going. Uh, not too smoky at the moment, so it's not really filling up in here. There's enough gaps in these walls that the smoke is going through quite easily. Going out that main door at the moment. I don't yet have a plan for what I'm going to do on that doorway. Uh, obviously it can't be a permanent wall. And I'm not quite sure if I can make a door that can be opened. You'll notice there's a massive gap in the uh, hole down there. My initial plan was to get some nice bendy um, some hazel or willow and weave it in and out of those few verticals you can see. But in this wood there just isn't enough of it. So there'll be a plan B. I suspect there'll be a mini version of what I've done there. I'll just put it underneath to, uh, to see it like that hole. Well it looks like most of the smoke's actually going towards that bench. Um, so maybe that wasn't the best place to put the bench. I wonder if I put it against that far wall that might be better. Let's try sitting there now, see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yep, <coughs> that's, that's not great. So looking uh, a bit further into the future, one option might be for me to make my own tarp, but custom build it to the size of this, uh, this shelter, so something a little bit big enough to fill in that corner. I mean, I can decide a sensible way to have it covering this kind of window bit. Um, I think what I might do now though, if I just put a spar going across from that tree to there and it will kind of mark the outline of the window, I think that will probably help define the shape of this. Let's have a go at doing that now. Well there we go, there's a spar I've just put in, might move it but that's just a rough guide. You can see the fire in there. Um, so now I'll try and put the tarp over that, see if it helps with the shape, see what it looks like. Well that seems to make a big difference now. Nice and flat around the middle, a lot tidier. Comes down here, comes in that end, obviously as we know, not enough space of that air, but it's letting the smoke up there. Looking inside, it's getting pretty smoky, but I find if I sit on my bench, um, but it seems to be alright, the wind just sort of comes in this doorway, and takes it up the far wall. So although it looks pretty smoky, when I'm sat down on that bench in there, like this, it's, uh, it's alright, it's not too bad. However, if I were to daub these walls, it clearly would get terrible. Um, so that even means I don't daub them, and uh, just cope with shelter from the trees and from the top, or well, I don't know what. But anyway, what is coming along? If anyone's got any good ideas for uh, dealing with the doorway, then uh, then let me know. That would be really helpful. Thanks. Now, if it were raining, clearly this would have the issue of water collecting and pooling. There is a little tab in the middle of the top there, so I could tie a bit of string to that, and then up to something up there. Not sure what yet. So that's one option. Option B is to make this ridge a lot higher, so that it all goes off the back, but it'd have to be a lot higher, I think, for it to be work effectively, or make it a lot lower, so that it doesn't collect, and I don't know. I think it's going to be some kind of ridge line through the middle. Right, so I think what I'm going to do now is see if I can see like that hole at the bottom. Right, well it's getting dark here now so I've got my lantern out. Uh, so I'll just show you what I've been up to for the uh, last little bit of time. Firstly, I've just tried to build up this wall here a little bit, get a bit closer to there, but um, that's taking a lot of time. What I was mainly doing was focusing on the wall in front of me. That's a bit difficult to see, let's bring a lantern closer. 
So this is underneath where that gap was, so that's been built up now to fill in that gap there. Hello. So the fire's dying down, the light's going, it's going to be time to go back home soon. I could leave the tarp up here, but I'm a bit worried of another storm coming and ripping it off and taking it away. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to pack away the tarp, take it down, have a little think, um, and I'll see about making a uh, sort of a custom fit tarp to, uh, to go on here. Shouldn't cost too much, I've made a few tarps before in the past, so I can work on that. Just want to show you the view that I have from the inside of the shelter right now. So, obviously got the roof, a little bit of window and a view down towards the river. If it was light, you could see it. This wall, bit of gap there, bit of ventilation to let the smoke out. And then obviously the big doorway there, but it's difficult to see. So I need ideas for a door. I need to cut the tarp, we'll make it up to fit. Maybe it's one that I could sort of have that window open and then flap it down to close it. And if I need it, keep it open. Uh, and then just maybe make this wall a little bit higher next time so it can come up and meet the top. Not really sure. So that's it. That's the progress on my shelter so far. I'll uh, keep you updated as I keep building it, keep improving it. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.